Well, let's get right to it, guys. Net Celtics is about as compelling a first round matchup as we will see. Stephen A, who you got? I'm going with the Brooklyn Nets. Ooh. With trepidation, I'm still going with the Brooklyn Nets. The biggest reason is that Williams the third is out, and we don't know when he'll be back. Okay. I think that compromises you defensively on the interior for the Boston Celtics. Not that Kyrie and KD need the interior. You're just open for them to put up buckets because they don't. But also keep in mind, Bruce Brown has been playing relatively well. I like him as the third wheel for the Brooklyn Nets. I don't think he gets enough shine. But Kyrie has been nothing short of spectacular, and we know who the hell KD is. I know Will Bond might disagree with me, but I want the audience to keep in mind that he's in Phoenix instead of being here because a coyote bit him, okay? <laughs> uh, he bit his foot, and as a result, he's not a fit. Uh, that's why he's not here. So he has to watch what he says, okay? That's what it is. It was either a coyote or a javelina. It was a, it was a coyote. Uh, no, javelinas, javelinas, are javelinas are Arizona. blind. Javelinas are blind. They can't catch even me. All right, but Michael, listen. so that's yeah. one vote for Brooklyn. Who you got? Yeah. I mean, everything Stephen A. said is persuasive, and I, I'm not going to sit here and argue with anything he said, but I'm going to take Boston, and I'm going to tell you this. I'm sorry, was Marcus Smart out there guarding Kyrie last night? You think Kyrie's nope. going to go 11 to 4 11 against, you think he's going to hit that many shots against 12 12, Marcus 12. Smart or that Boston defense? And the answer is no, he's not. And it, look, those guys are still going to be great, KD, but they're not going to be that efficient, Stephen A. They're going to miss some shots. And by the way, the Nets played so well. They had four or five people play A-plus games last night, and they struggled to hold off Cleveland. That's not the greatest sign in the world. And by the way, I'm not trying to dog Cleveland. I thought Cleveland really accounted well with themselves last night for a team making his first postseason appearance, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. the Celtics and that defense, I know you're right about missing Robert Williams. If they had Robert Williams, I would pick the Celtics with a clear mind and total so conviction. Mm -hmm. As it is now, there has to be some doubt. We know either team can win that series. But the way, but the, way the Celtics have played defense, they are not going to be scurred of KD and Kyrie. And I think that's the first part of this equation that's necessary. I will mention quickly, about a half hour ago on SportsCenter, Woj reported with us that Robert Williams III could return during this series, maybe game six if it gets that far. So it's one vote for the Nets, one vote for the Celtics. Jalen, who you got? I'm going Boston, um, just like Will Bond, and I'm going to take a few different reasons. On March 6, these two teams played, and Jason Tatum had 54 points. Jalen Brown has been terrific. I voted said Marcus Smart, Defensive Player of the Year, and he and White are gonna lock down and do a lot of switching. And here's something I want you to watch for. Brown has been a terrific third wheel for the Nets. Why? As a finisher. So, because when his man, when he screens, you gotta decide if you're gonna come up to KD or allow Brown or Drummond, who's been hanging on the rim a lot, to get a dunk. When you play against the Celtics, however, they're gonna just switch that. And now you're going one-on-one -on -one and it's a make or miss league. I'm going with the Boston Celtics. Stephen A. Can I Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.